Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will study about electrical fuse and circuit breaker. Majority of people may have experienced a minor electric shock in their lifetime. Many of you must have experienced a minor shock during your childhood. How can we prevent electric shock? Fuses and circuit breakers are safety device to prevent electric shock. What is a fuse? A fuse is a safety device that switches off an appliance from excessive current flowing through it. A fuse has a small conducting wire of low melting point which protect the household electrical system from getting damaged due to unusual high current. What is a circuit breaker? Circuit breaker is an electromagnet switch that opens when there is a fault. It stops the current in the live wire from flowing. They can be reset when the fault has been put out. Now, in my previous video on transmission of power, we came to know that the main fuse is connected in the live wire. In the live wire, after the kilowatt meter and before the main circuit. In this video, we will study the purpose and use of fuse and miniature circuit breaker. So, characteristics of a fuse. A fuse is a device used to limit the current in an electric circuit. It has a short thin wire of uniform area of cross section and high resistance to the extent that it passes current up to a safe limit. It is made up of material of low melting point so that it easily melts due to overheating when excess current flows through it. The wire is generally made of an alloy of lead and tin because its melting point is low and resistivity is more than that of copper and aluminium. There are variety of fuses that are available in market which you will learn in detail in later higher grades. As of now I have divided fuse into two types. First is plug fuse this one and second one is cartridge fuse. Nowadays costly appliances such as refrigerator, air conditioner, geyser, television etc are provided with cartridge type fuse of proper current rating such as 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 5 ampere, 10 ampere, 13 ampere. Now this is a circuit symbol for a fuse. Now wire of a fuse. Now let's see the construction of most common fuse. Now there is a wire F which is stretched between the two metallic terminals T1 and T2 in a porcelain holder since porcelain is an insulator of electricity. This holder fits into a porcelain socket having two metallic terminals to each of which a live wire of the circuit is connected. Thus the fuse wire gets connected on the live wire. A copper or aluminium wire is unsuitable for use as a fuse wire because they have high melting point. The use of ordinary copper and aluminium wire must be avoided because it is very thick so the resistance will become low and it will allow current higher than the safe limit. A fuse wire permits the flow of current through it only up to a certain fixed limit which is called current rating of the fuse. The characteristics of fuse wire is low melting point, high resistance. Fuse wire is made up of pure tin or made up of an alloy of lead and tin. These are the available fuse wire of different or current ratings. First one is 5 ampere, second one 15, third one 30 ampere. If current higher than 5 ampere tries to flow through this wire, then it will melt and disconnect the circuit. Similarly, if more than 30 ampere current if it tries to flow through this wire it will melt and disconnect the circuit. So conditions when excess of current flows through the fuse wire. What is the conditions? First short circuit, overloading, then ground fault. Ground fault is 
the one where there is uh, some fault in the earthing system earth wire lightning and thunderstorms device failures now what is short circuiting it means that two wires live and neutral or live life may come in contact with each other this may happen either due to their insulation damage or there is a fault in appliance in such case what happens the resistance decreases to a very small value and according to v is equal to ir so current increase enormously it may result in spark at the place of short circuit or even cause fire what is overloading it is a situation where too many appliances are connected in the same circuit such that the overall current sum of all current used by the appliance exceeds the current carrying capacity of the connecting wires the wires cannot withstand such a high current and melt and may cause fire let's take an example of overloading let me give you an example of overloading let's say you have two hair dryers which have power capacity of 1200 what let's say you have both two hair dryers and the current capacity of each hair dryer is 12.5 ampere the second one is of 12.5 ampere and you put both the hair dryers together then what happens and uh, the, there is a fuse connected in the branch which has a current capacity of uh, 20 ampere now you put both the hair dries into the socket and the total current becomes 24 point 25 ampere which which is exceeding the fuse capacity so what happens overloading uh, where the overall current of the appliances exceeds the current carrying capacity of the fuse wire then what happens uh, so wires cannot withstand high current and melt cause fire this is overloading now working of a fuse how does a fuse work before we know about how a fuse works, let's remember these two things. First, current always flows in a loop in a conductor. If there is a break in the loop, current electric charges cannot flow and so current cannot flow. Second, heating effect of current produced in the wire and heat energy, how we can calculate it? That is I square RT, I is for current, R is resistance, T is for time. This is Joule's law of heating. Now, when current passes through the conductor, the different components of the circuit like devices attached or even the wire offer resistance to the current flow. The work done to overcome the resistance present itself in the form of heat and it is directly proportional to the square of the current, resistance and time. So, now let's see how does the fuse work. Here it is a fuse connected here, right? And this is a uh, descriptive diagram of a fuse. When current in the circuit exceeds the specified value due to any reason, maybe high voltage, short circuit, overloading, the fuse wire gets heated up to the extent, gets heated up to the extent that it melts. As a result, a gap is produced and the circuit breaks. Now the current cannot flow through the live wire and the appliance or the appliance these are the light lights are saved after removing the fault in the circuit a new fuse wire of same current rating is connected in the holder to complete the circuit again so this is how a fuse works the reason for connecting the fuse in the live wire the fuse is connected in the beginning of the circuit so that the fuse will melt fast before the heavy current reaches the appliance. But if the fuse is connected in the neutral wire, as you can see in this figure, the high potential of the live wire is not being cut off and the user might get electric shock when touched through the fuse. When touched, when you, when you touch this one, you will get an electric shock although the fuse is melt fuse will melt here but even if you touch this wire you will get shock so we always connect the fuse in a live wire as shown in this figure 
the current rating of a fuse current rating of a fuse is total power of the appliance in a circuit by voltage of the supply all fuses have a rated value which, which will be written over it sometimes on the end on the end side of the caps if fuse if a fuse the fuse should be chosen at a rating slightly higher than the current the electrical appliance draws under normal working condition suppose a hair dryer draws suppose 12.5 ampere of current normal working condition the fuse we will choose should be of slightly higher 13 ampere common fuse ratings are this 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 5 ampere 10 ampere 13 15 and 30 ampere now if a fuse with much higher rating is chosen it what will it do it will allow current much greater than the current drawn by the appliance to pass this large current will cause the appliance to overheat and being damaged similarly if fuse with lower rating is chosen the appliance might not work so we will choose just little higher than the normal working condition of the appliance now easy way to remember power and fuses power is the rate of doing work and what it what is power equal to current into voltage so peter is a wedge power i stands for current and v for voltage so using this equation we can work out the fuse rating for any appliance for example a 3000 watt fire plugged into a 240 volt supply would need a current of how much 3000 by 240 that ampere so that ampere's fuse would be used so it comes to if i divide 3000 by 240 it comes to 12.5 ampere so which one i should use 5 ampere or 13 ampere i should use a 13 ampere fuse let's see this one also here power of a table lamp kettle and washing machine curling tongues are given voltages is given then current we can calculate by p by v so all the currents are calculated now list all the appliances in the table which should have a 3 ampere fuse fitted in the plug which in which we can use this one this is very low this one it's very high this one high so we can use for curling tongues right so what is a miniature circuit breaker nowadays instead of fuse we use this miniature circuit breaker or mcb for each individual circuit if due to short circuiting or some fault a heavy current flows in the line the mcb falls down to switch off the circuit in a very short time that is 25 millisecond the mcb is then raised after mcb is like a switch which is raised after the repairing the fault in the circuit thus the use of mcb is easier than fuse because it avoids the inconvenience of connecting a new fuse wire and so it is much safer due to its quick response so nowadays we prefer mcb over fuse thank you for watching this video if you have understood the concept please like my video and subscribe to my channel